Good morning and welcome to Second Presbyterian Church. We're glad to have all of us here gathered together to praise God's name and experience God's Spirit. I want to especially welcome those of you who may be here for the first time. We're really glad you're here, and we request that you would take a moment to fill out the blue and white welcome card and return that in the offering plate in a few minutes. That way we may get to greet you more personally. And speaking of greeting one another, if you take a moment now to pick up that red friendship pad and to fill it out and pass it back and forth, it's a way to get to know the names of those who are seated around you. And I'd like to say welcome back to two very special people this morning. Worshiping with us this day is the Reverend Dr. Richard Armstrong. Dick, if you would stand, please. Dick was senior pastor here from 1974 to 1979. Unfortunately, due to some family health issues, he was unable to attend the 175th anniversary celebration, but we're really happy, Dick, that you're here today. Now, if I may just say a word, both prior to and following his ministry here, Dick had a distinguished teaching, administrative, and writing career at Princeton Theological Seminary. He also wrote at least one hymn that you can find at the very back of your hymnal. So you have to add hymn writing, hymn writing to his uh, resume. His best-selling books on the pastor as evangelist earned him worldwide recognition as a leading authority on evangelism. And just coincidentally, I was blessed to learn church administration and polity from Dr. Armstrong when I was a student at Princeton. Also with him, and we want to welcome back his daughter, the Reverend Elsie Rhodes. Elsie, will you, will you stand? She's a daughter of this congregation who currently serves as pastor of First Presbyterian Church in Cooperstown, New York. Welcome back, and I hope you'll join us for a reception in their honor immediately following the worship service today in McFarland Hall. Welcome back. In your worship packet are a number of opportunities coming up for worship and inspiration and service. Take a look at those. I'm just going to highlight a couple. We are in the season of gratitude and thanksgiving as we are prayerfully considering our pledges of financial support for the church ministries next year. Those pledges will be dedicated during worship on October 26th. And also on October 26th, we're going to have a special festival music Sundays as well as a 3 p.m. concert with our choir here in the sanctuary featuring new arrangements of beloved and favorite spirituals. So that's on the 26th at 3 p.m.